Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. If you subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, Jesus has stepped into your boat. So you cannot return home empty. Jesus is there in your boat. So your fishing net will not be empty. Your fishing net will not be empty. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. There is somebody you are hearing me right now. They are stalking you because they want to see, they want to know how you will be able to catch that fish. When I talk about fish, I talk about the things about life that God has blessed us with. You know, the Bible says the earth has he given to the son of man. He said the earth has he given to the son of man. So God has given us this earth to possess. So in this earth, we are expected to have fruitfulness. Hallelujah. We are expected to have an abundance. We are expected to live in the will and in the work of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. Child of God, hear me very well. They are stalking you and they want to know. They want to see if you will return with an empty basket. But I am here to tell you, child of God, that you will not return empty. Even in your daily job, you will not return empty. Even in your ministry, in your calling, you will not return empty. In that your family, you will not return empty. All that you need in order to be fulfilled, all that you need in order for you to carry that family up, in order for you to lead them through, you will carry them. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You will carry them. You are not going to be empty. You are not going to die. You are not going to fail. You are not going, you know. To just give up because all that concerns you, the God that that that, that multiply will multiply even the days of your your the number of your days here on earth. The God that multiply, He will multiply His glory to Jesus. They are stalking you. I don't know how long you have toiled. Maybe you have toiled for many so for so many years. You have toiled for so many weeks. You have toiled for so many days. So the time for you to see something tangible to fish out from that boat it is now because you obeyed the lord hallelujah glory to jesus the bible tells us in the book of luke the miraculous catch of fish hallelujah by <clears throat> when jesus the bible recorded that, that it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of god he stood by the lake of god la Cetas. Ganesaret and saw two sheep. You can read it for yourself, the book of Luke, chapter 5. He said, And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. They were washing their nets. They have fished, they have toyed all night, you know. They have not caught, they didn't caught anything. But there is a man named Jesus Christ, and that is the God that we are serving. There is a man named Yeshua, that is the God that we are serving. Hallelujah. And that God stepped and entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would trust him out a little from the land. And he sat down, taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, that is to tell you that Jesus will not leave you empty. God will not allow you to return home empty after you have labored for him, after you have believed in him, after you have trusted in him, after you have walked with him. He will not just let you go like empty-handed. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I will not let you go unless you blessed me. I will not let you go unless you bless me. The Bible says, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets. For he draws, and Samuel answered him, said unto him, Master, we have taught all the night. So this is a word of God unto somebody. You might have taught all the night. You might have taught all the night. You know, you might have labored all the night. You might have labored for so many years, and you are constantly being stuck 
because the enemy don't want you to return with fruitfulness. But hear me, because Jesus has stepped into your boat, you cannot return home empty-handed. Hallelujah. You cannot return home with empty basket. Your basket will be full with fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And he said, all night have taken note. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. That is obedience. You cannot be obeying the Lord and serving God, you know, in faithfulness. You cannot yield yourself unto the Lord and the enemy will come and make you become an empty vessel. No, you cannot be an empty vessel. You are a vessel unto honor. Hallelujah. You are a vessel unto honor. I want to speak to somebody that is hearing me right now. They are stalking you and they want to know if you will ever return with good testimony. Hear me to the shock and to the disgrace of your enemy. You are returning of a truth with a bunch, a bunch of testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says in verse 6, when they had when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude. It was not just little. This is the same the same net that was being washed before because they tore all night. But the moment Jesus spoke, uh, stepped into and said, Oh yeah, put your net back to the water. The Bible said they, they caught multitude. They caught multitude of fishes. Somebody, you will catch multitude, not just little. You will catch a multitude. Yes, multitude of blessing and, and abundance. You will fetch abundance home. Hallelujah. You will fetch abundance home. The Bible said even the net was breaking. So they have to call others to come and help them to drag the net. That is the God that we said. He is a miracle walking God. The same place where there were no fish before. But because he's stepping, because he was there now, fish become came in multitude. Yes, in multiple fold, your blessings will come. Those that are stalking you, they are stalking you to see if you will return home to your family empty. I don't know the country that you might be or what you are doing in life, but you are there to make sure you earn a living, to make sure even if it's your, your, your best country that you are in, there are powers that are stalking you, looking at you. They don't want you to ever get, you know, to ever get blessing at all. Child of God, that multitude of blessing, it is your portion because you will return home with multitude of blessing. Glory to Jesus. Yes, because you obey the Lord. One thing that I love about Simon, he obeyed God. He obeyed. He didn't say, I'm tired. I just wanted to help you. He obeyed. You are hearing me right now. Despite the stalking, that they are stalking your life, you are still obeying God. This is the person that the Lord is talking to. You will cut multitude of blessing home. Hallelujah. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.